Hey, what's going on guys? So my name is PO17 or P017, whichever you prefer to call me. I know it's been a little while again just because I've been a little bit busy, but I've also been recovering uh, from the flu. So yeah, I haven't really been able to do too much lately, but I will say one thing since I've been out of work once I started to actually recover. Started to get back in the groove of things a little bit, and that includes this monitor right here that sits in front of you today. So I've had this for about a couple of weeks now. Had a few issues I'll go over with you in a little bit and kind of what I did to fix them. But what I wanted to do, of course, was show you some gameplay footage as well. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to be talking, of course, about this monitor in particular. So this is the Panasonic WVCM1480 video monitor. Super, super awesome uh, acquire or acquisition, I should say, uh, that I got. So I absolutely love this thing. Uh, so we'll get in a little bit into talking about it. I'll show you some gameplay on it, give you the specs, the rundown of it, and kind of why I also got this. Um, also, you might have noticed there is a little bit of a issue, especially right there. I'll talk about that in a little bit here because this is actually a set that I bought off eBay. Uh, I didn't show the unboxing just because at the time I was not, you know, up to show making a video for that, everything like that. There's too much going on, but... I did, I did get it unboxed, I did get everything fixed on it, and like I said, I'll go over it here in just a little bit. But for now, I'll go ahead and enjoy a little bit of gameplay. So, my, uh, I guess, acquisition for this, I saw this on eBay, it was a really good price, and I really liked it a lot. Decided to pick it up, found out it was actually a dot mask video monitor. So yeah, this is a 14 inch dot mask video monitor, that's really, really cool. Uh, because you typically don't find dot mask video monitors. There's, they're basically shadow masks, um, but I like to call them dot masks to denote the difference between it being a slot uh, or a dot kind of, I guess, mask shape, you could say. So, when I found out it was a dotty, I was very happy because I really, really like the look of dotties. I like them way better than a lot of Sony Trinitron aperture grills and slot mask uh, sets as well. Typically speaking, a lot of TVs you find are usually SWAT mask sets, and any video monitor that usually isn't uh, Sony will typically have a SWAT mask set as well, except for the higher-end ones or the uh, Sonys that have either the Trinitrons, or you'll find some that have Mitsubishi Diamondtron aperture grills, which is really cool too. Um, but yeah, so like I said, 14 inches. Uh, this one has a 750 TV line rated tube, so that's really cool. Uh, so it's extremely sharp. It does only come with composite and S-Video inputs, but S-Video, as you can see on the screen as I'm showing you gameplay footage, uh, this is on my GameCube at 480i. It looks awesome. I mean, S-Video, honestly, that's kind of the minimum that I try to go for for any set that I get. Uh, and that includes video monitors. And depending on the video monitor, it can really have a nice, crisp, and clear image. Uh, this one, unfortunately, does have a little bit of issues with... Uh, you can still see some of the, how should I put it, um, interference in the cable, so you will need a nice cable for this, especially if you're playing on, like, Super Nintendo, anything like that, uh, for S-Video, but, like I said, this is a really, really, really nice monitor, so, like I said, composite S-Video, does have one mono audio speaker, it's not really that great right now, I mean, you might not be able to hear it too well, I do have it turned down just for the audio on this uh, footage that I'm capturing right now. Oh, no, oh, I fell right there. But, overall, it's really nice. So, other thing to mention on this set, too, this is a service menu set, which for a Panasonic is pretty hard to come by, you could say. Every Panasonic that I've dealt with, uh, thus far for a video monitor has always been one that has had potentiometers inside them, which means you have to open up the case to be able to make any sort of adjustments of the screen. This one, fortunately, you do not. Uh, this one has a bit of horizontal, vertical size and position adjustments, as well as pin cushion, uh, vertical linearity, vertical, like, VS correction, or whatever the heck it's called. Um, and then it has a couple other tweaks that you can do uh, for this set. So it's really, really versatile in terms of adjustments. It's very nice. And, of course, inside as well, I also had to do some adjustments for uh, convergence, focus, and anything else that really needed to be dealt with. Actually, purity was one that I had to deal with. Uh, so that I had to fix. Uh, getting everything set properly inside was really easy. It was extremely easy to converge this set as well. So that made it really awesome to be able to just have this set up and running really quickly without 
basically any issue whatsoever after I got it done. But aside from that, let's go ahead and switch over to uh, me showing you around the entire thing. It's enough, you know, showing you my time trial on this. Uh, but I'm going to switch over to 240p test suite, show you some more uh, footage, I guess, on the screen. Alright, so I went ahead and switched cameras uh, to, or switched uh, games to this now. This is our Tineos 240p test suite running on S-Video, of course, on the Super Nintendo. So as we zoom in right here, I'll show you a little quick image of our Tineo and just show you kind of the pattern that it has. So as, if you can see it, there are itty bitty little dots all on the screen. That's what I denote as a dot mask video monitor, uh, just for, I guess, ease of sake. I don't know. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really, really solid. Down here, that's where your Panasonic logo is, as well as your power on, off, standby, your input select, your menu, which I'll actually pull up here in just a little bit, your arrow keys to navigate it, and then your audio, which is also your uh, up and down for adjusting certain things. So let me go ahead and pull that up. So as you can see here, this is the menu. It's just giving you brightness, contrast, sharpness, color, tint, uh, AFC. I'm not sure what that really is, but I just left it at short. And 3.58 trap. I also don't know what really that is, but I just left it off because it didn't really change anything whatsoever. Uh, of course, over here, this is where you get your speaker. And as you can see, there is a giant crack running uh, up there. So, yeah, uh, that unfortunately happened. I did negotiate with a seller about that, talked to him a little bit, told him, hey, look, there's a little bit of damage. These buttons were also actually pushed in as well, so you couldn't really press any of these. Um, luckily, these this was actually an easier fix. Um, but overall, I did talk with a seller about it, and he was really nice, uh, and he partially refunded me this, so I did get this for a pretty decent price. I just had to put a little bit more effort into fixing everything. Like I mentioned, it also had a purity issue. So here, let me go ahead and pull up a little test screen to show you what I mean. So right here, I like to use white RGB uh, screens, and overall what was happening was there was a bunch of purple that was going around here, so essentially speaking, the purity of this set was off, and if you switched it to green or blue, it was doing the same thing. Uh, so, I had to adjust that, of course. Luckily, it was an easier fix. Typically speaking, if uh, sets have purity issues, uh, and the rings were not touched like this one was, typically that will indicate that there may be a bitter, bigger issue inside the set, but luckily I was still able to fix it by adjusting the purity rings on it, and then readjusting the convergence rings with it, to be able to fix everything on this. So that was really, really cool. Also showing you around the side too, you do get a carrying handle on each side. And then back here is where the magic happens. So down here, of course, this is where your uh, manufacturing date is. So this is August 2001. And of course it shows you your model number right here. Uh, this is just a plastic cover for the neck board. Down here is of course where it shows you all your inputs. Uh, so that's my S-Video input, as well as composite in, and then your audio in as well. I don't really know what this does, the data and termination, I'm not really sure, but I've seen it in some security monitors, but yeah, and then that's where you plug in your power. So overall, not too much craziness to see. It is a nice off-white color too, uh, for those not looking to get away from your standard black uh, CRT television or video monitor set, or gray for that matter. Uh, but yeah, overall, really, really cool. Like I said, picture quality-wise on this, it's awesome. I absolutely love 240p and 480i on this, typically speaking, dot mask video monitors, uh, especially smaller ones that are extremely sharp. So like I mentioned, this is a 750 TV line set with, I think, a dot pitch of 0.25, if I'm not mistaken. It's very, very, very sharp uh, for this. It might be 0.27 or 0.28, actually, but, and that's in millimeters, by the way. Um, but overall, super, super, super nice set. And whenever I was able to get everything rearranged from geometry, convergence, everything like that, it looked pretty. So let me go ahead and show you a grid pattern for that as well. Oh, one moment. There we go. So yeah, everything turned out really, really, really well. And as you can see, if we, when we zoom in here, you'll be able to see the individual dots, like I said. Uh, but yeah, overall, it is extremely sharp. You don't really get very much focus loss or convergence issues uh, in any of the corners. I've had a really good experience with dot mask video monitors and just sets in general having very, very, very good convergence and really easy to converge corners. Uh, so that was no different with this set, so I'm very happy about that as well. And overall, everything else is good. Colors are great on the set now. 
no purity issues whatsoever. Let me see if I can get a better, there we go. So yeah, no purity issues whatsoever on this. I did readjust the colors because it was a slight bit green. Uh, but overall, super, super nice. Uh, so for scrolling everything like that, so I'll go ahead and show you here. Absolutely wonderful. There is hardly any barrel rolling whatsoever, especially for horizontal for vertical. We're going to actually test that right now because I've not actually seen it. Uh, so let's see here. Scroll. Actually, it is on the scroll test. Let's see here if I can change it. There we go. And then, there we go. So, if we speed it up a little bit, there is a little bit of barrel rolling right here, but it's not too bad overall, especially for a small screen. Typically speaking, CRTs, they will barrel roll vertically. Uh, if it's a curved set, typically speaking, you won't see any issues going horizontal. So, really, really awesome on that regard. Uh, but yeah, overall, so my thoughts on the set essentially are, well... If you can find yourself one of these, definitely pick it up. Like I said, it is the Panasonic WVCM1480. This is an extremely awesome set, and there should be one other version of this. I believe it's the 17-inch model as well. Also has an amazing screen, built pretty similarly to this one. Overall, super, super awesome set. In fact, let me go ahead and turn on some more gameplay footage for you. This time for 240p on the Super Nintendo. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to let this run here, and you just enjoy the nice image quality. There we go. I had it adjusted a little bit uh, diagonally. But anyway, so this is 240p on the set. It is super, super nice. You have really well-defined scan lines. Overall, the image quality is just fantastic on this set. So I do highly recommend it for that. Uh, but I'll leave it out uh, here. There's not too much else to talk about aside from really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do apologize that I haven't really been making too, too much lately. Um, but, like I said, I'm getting back into the groove of things, especially with this uh, new Panasonic. I've been really, really happy about getting this done and just overall being able to enjoy it now. So, thank you very much, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more eventually. And ask me if you want to see any other games being able to be played on this set. Uh, I may have it, I may not. I do have a small collection of stuff, mainly for Super Nintendo and GameCube. But overall, uh, yeah. I really do enjoy it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.